Bobby Cherry was one of the last living suspects in the Birmingham church bombing case. And after Sam Bowers was convicted in August of 1998, the Clarion Ledger I was working for, and we decided we wanted to kind of look at other, what other cases were being looked at out there. And one of them was that case. And we knew the FBI had already reopened the case and was looking at it. And I went over and interviewed uh, the guy who had been appointed U.S. attorney to, and was in, now in charge of that case, whose name was Doug Jones. I did a profile on Doug and kind of began looking at the case and interviewed Bobby Cherry just by telephone, talked to him briefly. About six months later, I got an email from his wife, Bobby wants to talk to you. I'm like, okay. And it turns out he lived near Tyler, Texas. And I grew up in the schizophrenic town of Texarkana, so I knew where he lived. So I drove over from Mississippi, met him and his wife, took him out for barbecue, um, talked a long time, about six hours, and he's like, oh, I didn't have anything to do with that church bombing. I left that sign shop at a quarter to 10 because I had to get home and watch wrestling. You can't make this stuff up. No, you can't. And he even pulled out this sworn statement from this woman. I remember that night where we're all sitting around watching wrestling. So, you know, the, the oldest rule in journalism is, you know, even if your mama tells you she loves you, you know, check it out, right? And so I, so we did, and uh, talked to our librarian, Susan Garcia, and she checked on it and came back to me the next day. And had checked on the old Birmingham News clips, and there wasn't any wrestling. So, uh, um, so I wrote his story, and he got arrested and, and went on trial. and. Uh, Convicted of four, you know, murdering those four little girls and got four life sentences.